are watching Melody Lane with me you're gonna have a great crafting time here's a shout out to a few of the people who support this channel on patreon Lynn Christine Tammy Linda Billy Sue Geraldine Angela Sharon Lori Annette Nita Tammy Linda Cheryl Sherry Stephanie Kim Jessica Marilyn Missy Jody Pamela Christine Heather Annette Rhonda Jeremy Laura Donna Claudette Mel Val Melissa Marla Jane Julie Rebecca Patty Yvonne Stacy Ruthie Audrey Brittany Debbie Ronald Julie Sharon and Kurt Kirby. Thanks, guys. A huge thank you to my co-sponsors. You guys are awesome. Look at how cute these are. Okay, not just the cuties, but the camper. Oh, I didn't turn the lights on. Okay, so today we're going to make a Christmas one. Uh, but this is the one I have made already. I have a side view so you can see that. Um, isn't that fun? The door opens and closes. And the little guys, oh, you can't see because the little purple guy is on the way. Look, he can stand on the little stool, or it's not stool, step. Although I cut some more pieces to make this a little bit better than I did on this one. So the second one will hopefully be better. Isn't he cute? Who's excited about this? Um, I did create this in Design Space. It's all free images except for the outside of the camper. So if you don't have access, it's free and access. If you don't have access, it may cost 99 cents. I think just 99 cents. Um, but then everything else I designed from free images, um, except for just the outer line of the camper. I was looking for a camper design space and they didn't have one that I liked. This one was a print and cut camper and I didn't want a print and cut. I wanted to um, add more to it. Uh, so I want to show you the file really fast and a reminder for those of you who support my channel on Patreon or YouTube um, of $4.99 or more, the gold level on YouTube um, and Facebook supporters. There's links all below if you have questions, just ask. You get all of my design space files. So there's hundreds of them and there's so many more coming. Um, and then you get access to all my files. Okay, let's just go over to Design Space. Okay, so here's, I have this group together. This, I cut out a chipboard, and I think this will work if you do not have a maker and a knife blade to cut chipboard. I think you could cut this piece, you'd have to cut it three times, maybe out of craft board, and then just glue them together, or you could do cereal boxes, did you guys know you can cut a cereal box? Save your cereal box, recycle. Because the chipboard in this project is completely covered. Completely, you won't see it. Well, except for maybe the edge, but uh, you could cover that up too if you wanted. Um, so you won't see the chipboard in this one because I the yellow one I call wallpaper. I have these flipped so you can do pretty side up with pattern paper, and then this gets glued onto the other side of the chipboard, so on the inside, and then this is the other side. So I just wanted to show you that. So if you had questions on the file, that's what you do. So we're gonna go over Shout here. Shout out to a few of the people Oops. who support this channel on page. Okay, uh, let me turn this camera off, do the overhead. So, um, this is the inside. I did not make a top on this. You probably could make a top if you wanted to, but I wanted it so it can be a place for cuties to play or um, any other little characters or they make little Mickey Mouse things. I think LOL dolls. Have I seen those? Um, I think little dolls that will fit inside here, you know, that you could play with. 
And of course you can do any color paper. I did this as the wallpaper on the inside, the striped paper. Um, I used brushed paper for the silver areas. This is from Cricut, Cricut brushed paper. Okay, should we get started? This might take a while. I don't know how long this will take. Oh, let me move my chat. And we are live on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitch. Okay. Hold on, now I just lost the chat. Here we go. All right, so if you have questions, please put them in all caps. Also look for other people to answer your questions because sometimes they do. Okay, um, this is the front piece. We're gonna move the guys out of the way. If you like the little backpacks, I did a video making a tent and backpacks for the cuties. Oh, and I saw somebody made backpacks for the little Mickey Mouse characters. It was so cute. Okay, so this today, we're using this Christmas pack. So it's kind of, kind of, it's called Nordic. I think it's from Cricut. And so this is gonna be my wallpaper. I thought this looks nice and cozy, doesn't it? For a, uh, kind of winter camping. And I'm gonna set that over here for now. Because first we're gonna start out with the front of the camper. Now, you do not have to do what I do. This is the base of the camper. This is all you have to do if you want to. You do not have to put the stripes on it like I am. Uh, also, I have well, I'll, you'll see in a minute and I'll tell you. You don't have to do the stripes on the door. Some campers are just solid and then have the stripes going across. You can do it however you want to do it. I will show you though this. This is curtains that go on the inside. So you have to actually glue them to the inside. And you know, if you wanna use these. I also thought it would be really cool if you actually took real fabric and made little curtains, that would kind of be awesome. I didn't do it, but it would be awesome if you did it and I could see it. Um, so this piece goes up here and then the rest is a puzzle. It is a puzzle. When I first did this, I'm like, oh, because this one, it has the stripe going across. I'm like, oh yeah, it's cut because I did have it where it would score here and go across the door and it wasn't folding right. So you have to lay these down and please lay them down before you glue them. No, you could do it like this. So the door is just one piece or I have that for the door across there and this, I'm going to match up the pattern. It cuts out right where it's at. So the pattern will stay and then we can open the door. Is that cute? Are you guys going to make this? Okay, let me start gluing. I'm using glue, art glitter glue from MayMayMadeIt.com. Every single video, I get a question, what glue did you use? I think I say in every video, but I just want to be sure you guys are paying attention to me and not reading because I'm using art glitter glue from maymaymadeit.com. Okay, and we're going to start with the top piece. I totally suggest you start with the top piece because if you were putting on the middle piece, it would be very hard maybe to match it up. And, okay, the pieces need to go away so I can get this on. I like to use this glue because I can 
Move it around before it dries. And I'm matching this up. Can turn it over to see that it's even. Uh oh. Is it even? Make sure the door. Oh, I didn't open the door. This door has a score line right here. And you guys, I got off just a little bit because you can see the red here. So I'm showing this to you because I don't want you to make that mistake. It will be fine, but put it on faster than what I just did. And then I got to line these up. And when I put this layer on, I'm pushing this up against to the edge of this and this piece is not glued down enough. I didn't put it enough at the edge. Those seem okay. So I'm going to go ahead and put this piece on. And then this piece. And you guys, you know what I was thinking? Um, you could totally make a fireplace or, well, I guess when you're camping, you don't have a fireplace in your camper. Okay, you can have a campfire, but you could do like a little fireplace and hang stockings or you can make a little tree and even put it inside if you want. You could put a wreath on the door. That would be cute. Oh man, we need a little wreath to put on the door. That would be fun. Okay. Let's put, make sure you put this on correctly. And it will have, well, and because I didn't put this piece on exactly even, we're gonna see a little line here. Um, let me show you the other camper so I can show you. There's no way to get it perfect. Otherwise the door won't open. So I forgot. Which camera? There we go. I don't know if you guys can see it. You can barely see a crack here on these. If you don't like that crack, then maybe just have the door a solid color and don't put these pieces because that's there. Otherwise, you wouldn't be able to open the door because I did have it all the way to the edge covering it. And actually, oh, you know what? This one's good. I actually sliced off a little bit with scissors because it was going all the way to the edge, but it was not working properly to open the door, like the paper was in the way. But I don't know if I'm going to have that problem here or not. I think I'm okay here, probably because I didn't put that all the way up to the edge. So just, I mean, I just cut off just a sliver but try it without and make sure it works properly. Can you guys hear the dog snoring? Okay, so I'm gonna put this one on first. I guess I should say, can you hear Kobe snoring? My dog. Pause. If you haven't been watching my videos, you might need to know his name for some reason. If you don't know why you need to know my dog's name, you really should watch some more of my videos. 
You might be disappointed if you don't. So I'm putting this on and I'm this one has a hole in it. So I'm lining the hole up, making sure the that is good. And there we go. I got it better. Love that glue. Okay. So let's go ahead and put the curtains on before I forget, because that happens sometimes, because you want to make sure you put this on before you glue it to the chipboard. And the short one goes here. So I'm just going to add a little glue around this edge. And do the same to the other side. good right are we getting Christmassy oh did you see my flamingo lights we got Christmas lights for this one now they're starting to come off they're not even taped on or anything um, we do not want to put the awnings on I made little 3d awnings we do not want to put those on yet okay that's one of the last things we want to do. Oh, we can put this piece on. This piece goes here. I was going to try to cut this off and then make a thing. I actually did. It's actually in the file, but it is in the, it's hidden in the layers panel. It's a little like triangle thing with a little hitch. So it will come out this way because, you know, like when you, when you have it 3D, you want, you're not just looking at it from the side, you're looking at it here. So you could still add that. But then I thought, you know, if I add that, I could take these off, but then it wouldn't stand up. It would be because this little part at the bottom here and the wheel are even so it helps it stand up that way so you don't want to take that off um, okay so we have that we also are going to build a little step but before we do that we do thank you for subscribing we do want to put this on here. The step gets glued on top of that. So you want to put this on now. Okay. Oh, and the wheel. I already made this one, so I'm going to show you how to make this one. You just glue this piece into the center of this one, but you butt it up to the edge and make sure it's completely straight. And then you're going to put that onto this one. So your tire's going to look like it's cut off. I um, searched Google for cartoon campers so I could get inspiration and ideas. So I took pieces from different campers to make this one. That's why I said some of them had a full solid door and some of them had the stripes across. So I wanted to give you that option to do both. So I glued these two together. And now I'm gluing these together and I want to put them down, make sure they're all even. And then we're going to glue this over the tire. So you do not see any of it at the bottom. And who is going to raise your hand if you're going to do a haunted camper? 
whoops, that's not straight. Make sure it's straight, that this piece is straight here. Wouldn't that be cool, a haunted camper? You could do Halloween or some uh, webbed paper and you could put ghosts inside. Okay, so look at that. We have that part done. These awnings and this tire will be for the other side. This is the wallpaper. Do not put this on next. We are going to choose this one that has the door in it. This one is for the other side. It has no door. Oh, we've got to turn it over. Like I said, if you do not have um, chipboard or a maker, you can, um, we're just gonna put glue all over this whole thing. What you can, oh, I gotta show you this real fast. It cut off this edge. See the edge it cut off? It also cut this off because I didn't remember that craft or chipboard is only 11 by 11 inches. So it cut this off, but that's okay. It also cut this off. I, I think I switched this so it would cut this side off. Uh, on this one, it actually cut off the back side. And it's, it's okay as long as you have this piece. You do need this piece and you need the tire. But these sides got cut off. I could make the whole thing smaller if I wanted to, but I didn't want to make it smaller. So we're making do. Make sure you put glue on the correct side. Whoops. I just got glue on the camper. It's all right, the awning will go over that piece. Put glue around every opening. Do not glue too close to these little spots here. Still got tape on there. I'm just gonna glue it on. Okay, so now we're just gonna glue this on. And if you don't have lights, I do have some links for some lights below. Um, but I think, oh, here. Here's the lights I'm using. I don't remember where I got them. Could be Walmart. And then I found this package of lights. I think these came from the Dollar Tree. These are a little different. They're a little bigger. But um, you can definitely get them around Christmas. Okay, so now we're ready to put the wallpaper on. Did I lose the wallpaper? I did. Oh, no. Where's the wallpaper? I know. Can you come help? I mean, I just have it in my hand and I can't find it. Do you see it? That's not it, that's for the other side. Hmm. There it is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I can't find it. <laughs> <That's the thing. laughs> okay, we found it, guys. Thank you, Janet. And we're gonna glue this on here. Make sure you do not cover up these little slits here. Those are for the floor. Raise your hand if you have this file.
I know thousands of you already have it. Now make sure these slits are open. Turn it over and look at it on both sides. Make sure it's good. Doesn't this just seem so nice, warm, and cozy? Thank you, Robin. Thank you, Mary. She says she has a gazillion files of mine because <laughs> she supports on Patreon. Okay. This is so fun. Isn't it cute? I love it. Okay. We are going to do the other side. The other side is much easier. And we're not going to put the awning on till last. And sometimes I have a problem uh, remembering to do the awning because I get excited that I have this really cool 3D camper. And um, I almost just freaked out. Did I do this right or wrong? This has to go this way. So this is the wrong. What happened? Oh, that's right. <laughs> okay, guys. Don't get confused like I did. When you're doing the other side, I'm glad I just got confused so I can help you guys. Before you glue this on, remember, I'm not doing, when I do the outside of the camper, it's going to be facing the other way. That's why I just got confused. Um, but when you actually put it together, it's going to be shown like this. And this will be like this. So don't get confused like I just did and think, oh no, it's the wrong way because I was just going to glue this on, but I'm like, but it's not going the same way. That's because I turn it around. Okay. Yeah, you could do this one as the wallpaper if you want. Or, you know, any paper. It can be solid paper. You could emboss it. Anything you want to do. All right, let's move this guy out of the way. And um, oh, we gotta do the pieces. That's where I'm thinking, I'm like, wait a minute. But these pieces are all put together already. Like this one, we don't have the door cutting it, so it's much easier, so let's do, isn't that cute? I love this. And I have the best Patreon supporters and YouTube supporters and Facebook supporters. You guys are all amazing. Uh, when I made the tent, somebody said something about a camper. And I said, oh my gosh, that's a great idea. And instantly I started working on a 3D camper because I absolutely just had to make it. So I also get my inspiration from you guys. So thank you. I think we need to push it over just a tad. And up, it's not absolutely perfect, but it'll do. I almost just said it's my first one. It's not. I did the other one. I couldn't wait to make it. 
Notice I used my absolutely favorite paper on the first one. And then I'm like, well, I don't wanna make two exactly the same. So I thought, let's make a Christmas one. And I'm putting one side down first and pushing it up. I just push it up to meet this one. And you don't have to, you could just do the one in the middle if you want. Remember, it's, you can make it your own. You can totally copy exactly like I do too. I don't mind that. Okay, now we gotta do the windows for this one. So we gotta do this before we put it on um, the chipboard. Remember, if you don't have a maker, you could cut out thin chipboard or craft board or cereal boxes. I would do a couple cereal boxes just so you have you know, because this is this is really sturdy. Oh, you know what I really forgot to tell you guys? The chipboard I'm using is 1.5. And you guys are gonna have to make a decision. Let me let you know about the decision first. So you have time to make that decision. Okay. This is let me take these pieces up here so we don't lose them. Um, there is now chipboard that is craft board that is 1.5 millimeter on the Cricut website. I used the damask chipboard comes with just craft color too. So I went ahead and just used that. But I have an option. Oh, thank you for buying a t-shirt. I have the option today i thought let's cut the floor with this or we put this to put over the floor so i'm going to let you guys choose if you want this which also will match the wallpaper but maybe it's too much of that or well or you could have a gray floor or we could have the damask so say red or damask or gray so say red or damask. I really don't want gray though. So pick red or damask on what you want me to use on the floor. Oh, and we gotta put the wheel on. All right, put the wheel together. Damask, I think so too. I think that would be pretty. And thanks for thumbsing up the video, hitting like. Yes, a truck, a red truck. Do we want a red truck? I think I can make a red truck, a 3D red truck. If you guys want me to make a 3D red truck for you, I will. Damask, damask, damask. We got a couple reds. I can always add the red later, so we'll just do damask for today. Um, oh, we got to put this on. And there's one of these for each side. So you have four of these covers for the little thingamabob. What are these called? And they call it a thingamabob. The hitch. Yeah, the hitch. Mm -hmm. Oh, I should have probably put this on. I'm going to put it on this one. Oh, no, it won't fit that one. I want to wait until I get the back on. I can't put it on yet because I got to put chipboard on. Don't do that. Okay. <laughs> now we got the chipboard. See, now you do not see the chipboard because like on this one, it's completely covered. And this piece gets covered too. We can go ahead and put this one down. Especially since 
the chipboard is too small and doesn't get cut properly. Gotta cover that up. Okay. So now we're gonna glue this down like that, right? Because when it stands up, it's gonna go that way. Yep, gotta make sure we're doing it right before we add the glue. Do what I say, not what I do. Juan didn't know you can't buy the files without having a monthly subscription, but you can cancel the monthly subscription at any time. Because I don't sell the files singly. It's a perk for supporting my channel. You get, for just $2 a month, you get hundreds of files. Like, I stopped counting after there was like 250, and that was a couple years ago. And there's been hundreds more added since then. Okay. And then we're gonna put this one on. And if you don't have access, this one might cost you 99 cents if you don't already own the camper. Cause it's just the shadow of the camper outline. And then I chopped it up for the hitches, for layers. And then the rest is mostly just free images, shapes. And with my projects and files, all you do is you click the link and it opens up design space with the project and you can just click make it. There's no sizing, there's no cleaning up, there's no unzipping, there's no uploading multiple files. You just click the link and click make it and you're ready to go. Mary, this file excites me too. Fun, fun, fun. Okay. I can glue this piece on now. And actually, let's just put glue on this piece since it's not all there. I'm getting glue all over my fingers, making a mess. Okay, now we have to do the floor. The floor is going to hold these things together. The floor has a tiny bit of a problem. We also have this part goes under the floor. This one. So I'm gonna fold I used craft board for this part. I'm going to say this is the sub flooring. So we're folding these pieces up. And then these will go up the other way. These are the sides. You could attach more things and attach these to the sides. I just wanted little sides at least. Um, you can always add to this camper later. 
So this is like that. This is going up and the sides are going down. It's kind of hard to see because it's all black. But we're not putting this in yet. Okay, the floor has little slots. There's a little slot here by the door. So that slot has to go in that side. And can you see the little slot on the edge? I made these slots so they will fit if you're using this chipboard. Um, if you use some really good glue, you don't have to have the slots. You can just probably cut, this is the floor. You could probably just cut it, just use this piece and cut the floor. But I wanted the slats just to make it sturdier, but you could even turn this camper over and use some really hot, good hot glue gun around the edges and make it go in good. But I added these little slots here and they didn't cut well on the first one. So I ended up using the knife blade, the True Control knife blade and cutting it better. And then we had the exact same problem with this one. So I'm afraid it could be a problem with the cut, you could take little scissors and cut that out better. It's really just on this small one because the knife blade has, um, it's hard to do intricate with the knife blade. And I think that's the problem. So uh, my assistant was going to try to fix that before the video. I'm like, no, let me show them in the video that that happened. So you guys can also um, try to fix it. But if you don't want to fix it, you don't have to. You can just use the subflooring. We glue this in. You glue this part to the sides of the walls. And then you can uh, add glue on the sides of this and glue this down here. And we'll put it in. Oops. Wrong thing away. Okay, so I'm going to use my knife blade. I don't know if you guys can see what I'm doing, but I can see where it's supposed to be cut on this one side. So I'm just gonna cut this out. I think it's just this intricate part on this. Like I said, if other people are gonna have this problem, I wanna show you how to fix it, or maybe you don't wanna deal with it and you don't wanna try to fit it in the slots. How are you guys all doing today? Yeah, if you guys are having a problem with the design space in the browser version, my answer is use the desktop app. It's much better. Uh, you have to install it. Some people think they're using the desktop app, but they're not. If it's asking you to download the desktop app, you're not using the desktop app because it does not ask you to do that if you're actually using it. Okay, now let me test these. Let's see if it's gonna work. This is why you don't put the awning on yet because you put this flat down and the awning sticks out. I think I need to take a teeny bit more off this one. This little corner here. But I couldn't make these any bigger. Otherwise they would stick out. You can't make them bigger than the actual wall. There. Thank you, Jeannie. There. 
I think that will work. Okay, let me make sure it goes in. That's gonna go that way, so this goes this way. Let me make sure, nope, that's the wrong one. That it, this one will fit in. Make sure it fits in on both sides. Thank you, Pat, for joining Patreon. You now get access to hundreds of my design space files. So that's gonna go in like that. Okay, are you guys as excited as I am? I'm really excited. This thing just makes me so happy. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a little glue inside the slits, slots, whatever they are, I guess they're slots. Whoops. And I'm also gonna put it along the edge here. Now you could, um, There, I had to push it a little bit more. And still, it's not poking through the front, that would be bad. I'm just gonna add a little glue here, just in the corner. I'm gonna let this dry just a minute. Thank you, Jeannie. Oh, we need bugs to enhance the camping experience. Design Space has a lot of bugs and spiders, all kinds of bugs. Yeah, the cuties are bugs too, you know. They're crickets. Okay, now we're going to do the other side. I'm just going to put that there. I'm going to go ahead and add glue in the slots a little. Actually, I could add a little glue in between there. And I'm going to turn this over. You might want to let it dry a little longer than what I just did. Put it in the slots. I think it's in the slots like it went in so easy. That makes me nervous. <laughs> it went in too easy. Is it in? Oh, that's in. You could also add some chipboard in here to make this sturdier. But that paper that I'm going to add, the it's craft board, also helps. So that's on here. I'm going to add glue to the side edges. Wait a minute. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> this is going underneath the chipboard. And I wanna, oh, you know what? I didn't put any glue on the chipboard or on the top, so I'm just adding some there. I'm pushing this up. I 
and make sure I can get these sides out. Okay, so now I'm going to hold it like this and let it dry. Okay, now while that's drying, I really should hold it and let it dry a little better. But I'm gonna show you how to do the awnings. So the awnings have a score line here and here. I don't know that you can see that because it's actually scored on this side and it's hard to see on this side. So let me hold it down. So you can see it. And if you don't, because if you don't let it dry properly and holding it, it kind of goes in like that. But after it's dry and set properly, it stays like this. But you could also add um, chipboard because I was wondering if I needed that after I made this one, but this one seems really good. Um, you could put little slats across the bottom here or even going down on the tires, like going down straight here. Okay, but let's do the awning. So I made the awning. So we're going to add glue only to this inside triangle. So it has a little triangle here, and then it has like this is the side. And then it has this one, and then this is the side. So we're going to put glue on just these tiny little triangle pieces here. Thank you, Lynn Foster. So which we should see which one this goes on. I made these a little bit bigger than the windows also. Just because I thought they look cute that way. That is, oh, no, I do it this way. So I'm doing, I'm gluing them on. So this part down here is kind of at the top. And I also want to make it high enough so you can still see the curtain. Let me see if I can put it on the other camera. Okay, well, from that angle, I didn't put it on very straight, did I? So I put glue on this piece underneath here. I put this top edge flat against the camper so it sticks out a little. And if I were to push these in a little, it would stick out even more. This side I have sticking out more than this side. Thank you, Lisa, for becoming a member. So isn't that cute? Okay, now I'm gonna make the next one. So I'm just folding in that edge and then the corner. See how that's folded? And then you put glue on 
this little piece here. And then this would be the top. So I'm going to put glue, whoops, hold on, I'm trying to get it in camera on this piece and this one and sticking up here. Make sure you don't get it in the way of the door. Sorry, my hand's in the way. A little higher. I can just push underneath. So you guys are looking at it from below it. <laughs> There, I got this one sticks out a little bit better than that one. Okay, now let's make the floor. And it's all these little pieces over here. Not the floor, the step. Thank you, Clara. Okay, this step, fits right inside this step. Let me show you. So it fits right inside. See how there's a little hole here? You see that? It fits right inside it. So I'm gonna put it right on top there. So this also gives support for the step to stand out. And I'm gonna go ahead and cover the step with the silver brushed paper. <laughs> Polly says, here's a tip, no carpet inside. She must have a camper and have carpet inside that's hard to clean. That's my guess. You know what, first. Let me see. On my other one, I just took three of these pieces of chipboard, I glued them all together, and then glued them up against this step just to add more stability for this. But then I decided, I haven't even tested these. I gotta see if they fit. To make, yep, they will. To make these little pieces to fit. So first I'm gonna glue these pieces together. So in my file, you get three longer pieces and four short ones. I don't know that we need all of these, but we're gonna glue these together first. Thank you, Danielle. You guys also got the backpacks for the little Cricut cuties. So we're just gluing them together. Now this is not something you absolutely have to do, but it's just a step. Um, so they can stand there. And make sure where they... Because I don't want this at the edge.
because that piece will be at the edge. Okay, I think that will be good. What I'm going to do is I'm going to glue one of these down first. Oh, you know what I could do? I could have glued all those little pieces together. And I'm going to glue this down. You know what? No, I'm going to glue this down. Uh, and put it up against this step. Somebody asked how long did it take this to cut out? I don't really know. I don't think it took too long. Because it's not a lot of intricate with the camper. But to be honest, I really don't know. We're good. It's gonna be all right. I'm gonna add glue to these. I'm just gonna add, make this more stable here in the center. Cause the other one works okay. I just think it could be a little more stable. And I don't want to put them at the edge because I don't have the little paper to cover the edge with it. Although, I guess we could make those two. So now I'm going to put glue on top of these pieces all the way inside the step. And then glue that down. Might be easier if it was upside down. Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> and I didn't glue that very well. So let that glue dry. Yeah, it does take longer to figure out what paper to cut than it does to cut it out. Okay. Now we gotta let that dry. Now I think we're pretty much done. These awnings are for the other side. And like I said, I think if you use some hot glue on the bottom and hold these out and hold them out while they dry. Now, I was trying to do it faster um, for you guys. Isn't it cute? And the cuties will fit inside. And it's sturdy enough to hold them. Oh, let me show you how I did the lights. I don't know, Derek. This isn't dry enough yet for the step for those guys. Oh, he lost his backpack. Okay, where's the batteries? So this is a battery or a light set. I just had these. I just sometimes buy things like at Christmas time that I think I might ever use. Because someday I might use them like now. Sometimes I buy them year or I use them years later. So these lights turn on. And what I did on the flamingo lights, they're like these. They have a metal wire through here. And what I did is you could hide this underneath it. Maybe hide some of that too. And then I put these closer together than what it is by just wrapping the wire. You guys can't see very well. 
because these aren't even very close together on this one. Let me see if I can do it without putting it on first. See, these aren't really close together, so I will just bend it so they're closer together. And then the parts can go behind it. Now, how did I do that before? That will go there. That will go there. And this has green wire, which I think is really cool. So this must be for Christmas trees or a wreath or something. There we go. If you don't want to have lights, you could put a banner across the top also. Like, you know, like a party banner, paper banner. You could also tape the edge of these on the inside. Let me show you the other camera. Oh, can't see. There we go. See how that's going? Isn't that fun? Okay, do you guys like my camper? Okay, let me see if there's any questions. If there's any questions, please ask them now. And I see your questions on Facebook and YouTube. How do I use Patreon? That's a great question. When you sign up for Patreon, I send you some links in a Patreon message that you also get an email to. And there's some links that will help you. There's even a video. Yeah, so you could put something in the middle to hold the tops apart. I didn't with the other one, and that one was okay. At first, it was kind of like this, but then after the glue dried, it was okay. So like I said, just hold it up straight while the glue is drying, and it should be fine. Oh, yeah, you could put a bead in there for the doorknob. I just have a hole for the doorknob, but you could do anything you want. I think a haunted camper would be fun too. Some pumpkins around it would be great for fall. And yeah, I think it needs a wreath for the door and some other things. How many lights on that strand? I don't know. I don't even have the packaging for this light. Let me, it, one, two. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, maybe 18, 18, 20, something like that. Okay, how many fit in the camper? I think at least 10 or 12 fit in the camper, the cuties. It holds a lot of them. And it should be sturdy enough to hold them. 
It's pretty sturdy. The one that's dry is pretty sturdy. All right, guys, if you have more questions, put them in the comments after the video. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for being here. Thank you for your support. I cannot wait to find out, to see what you guys make. Now, remember, every Wednesday, I give away $25 to somebody who uses one of my files and post it on social media with the hashtag Melody Lane Inspired. If you're a supporter, I have told you that a few times, so you should know that. And I do post it every Wednesday. There's a winner. Um, and there's no cutoff point. So, like uh, next week's winner could be somebody that posted in January. So once you post it, it doesn't go away. You're always up for um, winner. Mary says, I only camp in five-star motels. I live vicariously through my crickets. That's so cute. Yes, a teeny tiny fire pit would be cute. Somebody did post a video or a picture with the tent and stuff, and they had uh, one of the candles, the electric candles, battery-operated candles. You know, the little votive, not votives, the tea lights. The electric tea lights and they had that they put some little brown around it for the fire it was really cute yeah it does not have a roof um i was thinking of making a roof that comes on but i my mind could not be put around that and i was just too excited to have it like this because I think it's fun to use it. If it was all closed up and glued together, you could take them in and out of the door. But, I mean, unless you got little hands, that's not fun. I like to see them inside and stuff. Like, I'm going to sit and play with it. I'm not, but, you know, it's just cute. I don't think it will hold all 14 of my cuties. I haven't tried, but I think it will hold like 10 or 12 of them. And I was also thinking somebody could make a little couch in there just by folding some paper or some little seating or maybe a little table to put in the camper. Maybe a sink. Who's going to make that? Are you guys going to make it? That would be fun. It would take up more room. Yeah, I think a removable roof too. But the curves on the top, I'm not sure. That might be hard. I will try to work on a roof. If anyone has any ideas to help me, that would be great. All right, guys, I'm going to go. You all have a great lunch today, and I will see you Thursday night live at 8 p.m. on Thursday and Saturday at 11 a.m. for Design Space class. Oh, yeah, you could put doll furniture in there. That's a great idea, Polly. Awesome. All right, guys, thank you so much. Bye.